All right, we're here with Fuel Tools MC500 fuel pressure gauge, which, uh, which allows you to check the fuel pressure on uh, any fuel injected Harley motorcycle. So we've got our nice carrying pouch here. Just open it up. Got our gauge that tucks in nice and small, along with a bottle of O ring lubricant. I recommend before starting anything, always put a drop or two of lubricant on both the male and female ends of the adapter. Now once you have those ends lubricated, you can put your gauge down for one second and come over here to the check valve on the bottom of the, of the Harley Davidson's fuel injected tanks. I recommend grabbing a rag, putting it underneath the check valve just to catch uh, the drop or two of gasoline that may come out. Simply lift, lift up on the check valve and the fuel line pops right out. Now you can take your fuel pressure gauge, take the fuel line from the motorcycle, and connect it into the front of the gauge. Once that fuel line is connected and the gauge is installed, you can now take the gauge and install it into the bottom of the tank. Simply lift up on the check valve collar, push the gauge up into place, and you'll feel it pop. Once your gauge is fully installed, take this, your drain line and run it down into a gas container or you could run it back up into the fill neck on your motorcycle. Once you have your drain line going into a gas container or your uh, fill pipe, all you have to do is just simply turn the ignition on and fire the motorcycle up to check your fuel pressure. Once you check your fuel pressure, make sure it's between 55 and 62 psi. If it is, everything's working properly, and you and if it's not, you need to check with your technician or look through your repair manuals to figure out a solution. Once the bike is off and you're done checking your fuel pressure, you just simply press the pressure release, which is located on this other side of the gauge, and it releases the pressure out of the line. And just as simply as it installed, you remove the gauge. So press back on this collar, fuel line pops out. Then lift up on the collar on the bottom of the tank, and the gauge pops out from the bottom of the tank. Reconnect your fuel line. And then drain the remainder of the gas out of the gauge by simply pressing this rubber knob into the front of the gauge and holding the pressure release button. This will drain any bit of gas out of the gauge so it's not in there while storing. 